How's it going everybody? This is GAC Pokemon and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing two Eevee Evolution tins that I recently picked up from Amazon. Now these tins were a huge steal for the price. We're talking $13.24 each. These tins have five packs and a promo inside, so it's a phenomenal deal. The only thing we need to consider here is whether or not these tins have been resealed. Now, as some of you may know, Amazon doesn't have the best reputation when it comes to buying and selling Pokemon cards. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of fake product is sold on there or resealed product. Uh, most of the time, I think, is from the third-party sellers, uh, but you can never totally be sure of what it is you're buying because you're not seeing, more often than not, you're not seeing official pictures uh, of what it is you're buying, but more just a stock image of the product itself. So let's go ahead and jump into these tins and see if they're actually resealed or if they're not a scam at all. All right, guys, so these are the tins as I received them. Um, unfortunately, you know, they came in this big Amazon package and I wanted to keep it sealed so I can open the whole thing on video so you can see I'm not you know, doing anything to these packages. Um, but I, I had a lot of stuff delivered when I was on vacation and I just got back and I kind of forgot what these were. So I opened up the package, but um, these are the tins sealed as they came. Uh, they also advertised that you could get either Umbreon, Espeon, or Sylveon in these tins. And somehow I got the luck of getting two Sylveon tins, which is fine, whatever. Um, but these are the tins here. So you can see they have this plastic sealing on the outside of them. Um, I want to say that this is how at least some official Pokemon tins come. Um, I Honestly, I don't buy enough of these to really know better. Um, so maybe if you guys know, you can let me know in the comments, but uh, they do have this seal on the bottom here, you can kind of see. So it is, you know, secure. It is all packed in here, how it's supposed to be at least. Um, we just don't know, I guess, yet if what's inside of these tins is legit or not. Um, so when people will buy these things and reseal the, pro the product inside, um, they can find out what cards are inside of these packs, um, either by weighing them or there are other different methods you can use as well to find out what's inside a pack before you open it up, which is why you should always be wary of buying singles, um, by the way. Maybe just make sure that you're buying those from a medical source if you are buying single packs. Because um, you can find out what's inside these packs and what they can do is they can kind of search them, they can see what's in there, they can take the good hits if they want, and then they can leave the things that aren't really worth anything, seal them back up and throw them in a tin like this and sell them, and sell them to uh, potentially unknowing customers, which obviously isn't fair uh, to those of us who are buying this, um, you know, for the value or for the fun of it or whatever it may be. Um, you know, obviously you want to get the official product. You don't want to get something that has been tampered with. So that's what we're going to find out. We're going to see if these have any packs in them that have been tampered with or not. Um, just curious to know because there have been some really interesting reviews on this product. And I want to know for myself if this is safe to buy and something I can recommend or if this is something you should stay away from. All right, so I'm gonna move this one to the back here. We'll take a closer look at this tin on the right first. We'll go ahead and we will crack into this with these scissors. Um, now, I'm not 100% sure either what is inside of these tins. Um, I didn't buy these when they released at retail, I believe a few months back. I do know there are five packs on the inside, um, plus that Sylveon V promo card as well. So we'll see how that looks. Um, now I do notice this lid is kind of already falling off a little bit. I don't know if that's you know, how this is supposed to be, but it is kind of popping off. So there's the lid. Um, looks, you know, looks normal. Looks fine. Nothing uh, wrong there. No discrepancies I see at least. Let's set that lid over here. And here is the contents of the tin. So we'll go ahead and take this out. This all seems fine so far. We have some packs sliding out. Right, that pack was on top there. We'll get these packs out of here and look at those in just a second. Let's get a closer look at this promo right now. Here is the code card on the back. And let's take a closer look at this promo now. And this is obviously legit. Um, they can't really sell these without this promo card in there. It's you know one of the major selling points of this tin. Um, and it's a very nice looking promo, I gotta say. The centering looks really great. The condition on the front at least looks really great. The back looks very solid as well. This uh, actually can maybe even be gradable, so that's nice. All right, now let's see these packs, because this is what the problem will be if there is one. We have a Brilliant Stars here. Another Brilliant Stars. Fusion Strike. Have an Evolving Skies. And a Chilling Rain. Uh, so we want to look for with these potentially resealed packs. You can sometimes see the glue at the top might be a little bit off, but also that does happen sometimes in the factory. There could be some errors here and there. So that's not always a telltale sign. Um, 
the bottom also might have some inconsistencies, but this one looks okay so far. I'll pull this flap open a bit and we can see how this comes apart. It appears to be normal, the top at least. The bottom appears the same as well. So this looks all good so far. We'll go ahead and crack into this one first since we're already kind of peeling it away. Um, something else you can look for in these two, the code cards included in these packs, they are color coordinated. Um, so as with these, I believe, uh, if this is the TCG Live one, then the, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this so I don't have to uh, explain this twice, how about that? There's the code. All right, so this is the standard code. Uh, and this has the white and green instead of being all flat green all the way across. This means that there should be a hit in this pack. That uh, a hit is gonna be something that's a holographic card or better in that rare slot. Um, so that's our code card for this one. So there should be a hollow or better in this pack. If there's not, then we could have a little bit of an issue. Um, someone may have you know, taken the rare card out of this pack and put something different in there. Um, so let's go ahead and see. We have a water energy on the front. Clara, Haunter, Doctor, Bunsweet, Lapras, Blitzel, Aeron, Deerling. Our reverse is going to be a Flaffy. That's an uncommon reverse hollow. And on the end, this should be a hollow or better. And it is. We have a holographic Tapu Fini. All right, so, so far we're one for one on these looking legit. Let's see if that keeps up now with this Evolving Skies pack. Take a closer look once again. There is a little mark right here down at the bottom, but again, that can sometimes be just a factory error. Um, you can never quite tell from those just by itself. Uh, the back looks okay so far. This one doesn't peel up the same way that the um, Chilling Rain pack did, but that's notable. Go ahead and cut into this now. I typically don't show the code card uh, on camera because I like it to be a surprise of what we're going to get inside. But for this one, I think it's worth checking just to make sure that we do get what we're supposed to. Um, this opens, it seems like about how it should. It does feel a little bit more brittle than I'm used to, but again, that could just be um, something with the factory. Here is the code card, and this is going to be... So it's a white card, which means we should have it hit in this pack as well. Again, that means a hollow or better. So we'll go one, two, three, four to the front for our pack trick. So this final card should be a hollow, rare, or better. And I can see already it is. We do have an ultra rare card back there. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what we got. The fire energy on the front, an elemental badge, single strike scroll of the fang dragon, swoobat, cryogonal, nicket, Dwebble, Rufflet, Rog and Rolla. Our reverse is gonna be a Tentacool, that's a common reverse hollow. And on the end, we have an Aroma Lady, full art. All right, so just on that alone, I would go out on the limb and say these probably are not resealed at this point. Um, maybe the person who's resealing these cards, if they are reselling these packs, is only looking for like the super duper great hits. Um, but I don't think any person in the right mind would leave a full art trainer uh, in one of these packs if they were resealed. So I do think these are safe so far. We'll go ahead and keep looking to make sure that's true. Um, but so far it's looking very good. All right, diving in now to our next pack. This is a Fusion Strike pack. Uh, again, the ceiling looks about normal, like I would expect from these packs. Uh, back looks the same as well. So this looks good so far. This one does peel up a bit the same as that first pack did, that Chilling Rain, but again, you know, this is inconsistent. It's hard to tell, at least just off of this alone, uh, if these had been tampered with. So uh, we'll go ahead and get into this one now, and let's see what we can expect from this pack. So again, yeah, the white code card means that you don't have anything in here. This does open really easily. Not sure if that's suspicious at all. Let's see what we have on the back here. There is our code card. This is the TCG Live code card. Uh, this has the white border around it, which means this is not going to have a hit if uh, this is true and that holds up the way it should. Um, with these ones, particularly the black borders on these TCG Live cards, that means you did get a hit. 
white border does not. So uh, there shouldn't be a hit in this pack. We will see if that's true. Doing our pack trick and here we go. We have a Grass Energy, Skaters Park, Kramomatic, Swadloon, Shelter, Zorua, Tynamo, Clavopus, Baneri. Our reverse is a power tablet that's an uncommon reverse hollow. And on the end, we have a Corviknight, non hollow rare. We have three packs in a row now, I'd say, are safe. So let's get into our final two packs of this first 10 now, which are these Brilliant Stars packs. Um, there are some pretty big hits in these packs. The same goes for Evolving Skies, really. There's um, a really, really nice Umbreon in there and some other really great full arts. Uh, once again, this ceiling looks pretty standard, I would say. Um, not peeling up like those other two were, which, you know, maybe that's something, maybe that's not. I really can't say for sure. Um, but this one looks pretty solid so far. So let's go ahead and cut it off. Now this is gonna have that TCG Live code again, which means the black border means we have a hit. White border means we do not. Looking like it's peaking a bit from the top there. It looks like we don't have a hit in this pack, but we'll take a look at that here in a second. There is the code on the end and the white border. So there should not be a hit in this pack. Let's see if that is the case. Fire Energy on the front. Claydol. Acerola's Premonition. Pot Helmet. Sock. Corfish. Golette. Chimeco. Chinchar. Our reverse is a Kindler. That's an uncommon reverse hollow. And on the end, we have a Kling Clang non hollow rare. Going into our final pack now, and again, I would say this is looking like a major deal so far. Again, this tin was $13.24. We get five packs in here. Now, Chilling Rain and um, Fusion Strike, those are pretty affordable as far as sets go. Uh, you're looking at about three-ish dollars a piece per pack right there. So definitely not, uh, you know, super great there, but Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies, these are pretty high value packs. There are some good pulls in these, so. Uh, I would say definitely between the Sylveon promo or the Umbreon or Espeon, whichever one you get, and the packs inside, you're getting a really, really good value here. Um, again, so long as your packs aren't resealed. Here is our code card on the end. Black border, which means we should have a hit in this pack. Let's see if we can go five for five and get exactly what we're expecting from these packs. Lightning Energy on the front. Choice Belt, Vibrava, Staravia, Salt, Corfish, Golet. I think those that was the same sequence we got in the other Brilliant Stars pack, which again, sometimes happens, but um, interesting nonetheless. Chimeco again, I think that's again the same sequence. Chimchar, okay, very strange, but we'll keep going. Our reverse is a Sharon's Care. That's an uncommon reverse. On the end, this should be a hit, and we have an Empoleon Hollow Rare. All right, so we did get three hits out of that tin, as well as the Sylveon promo, uh, which I would say is highly unusual uh, for a resealed product. Um, I mean, again, we didn't get, you know, phenomenal stuff back here, but typically you're reselling, you take whatever is good, you do whatever is bad, you, you know, stick ins and things that aren't very good, whatever it may be. Um, I would say so far, Given that we had three hits out of those packs, um, two hollows and one ultra rare, this full art trainer back here, um, seems very unlikely at this point that it's resealed, but we still have one more tin to go into. So let's go ahead now and we'll crack into this second Sylveon V tin. And I do want to show that I am opening this up in one unbroken shot. I uh, don't want anyone to think I'm you know, tampering with these things. Plastic off of there. Uh, once again, that lid is kind of falling off a bit, but that first one was as well, so that might be nothing. Um, there is the lid. Very nice. Very pretty. Okay, set that aside. Here we go once again. Pull this out here. Let's go from the top this time. It's a little bit stuck, it seems like.
there is our second Sylveon V promo. And there is that code card. All right, once again, this looks really, really good. Um, sometimes these promo cards, they can be a little bit damaged because of the way they package them in here, but uh, that's two for two now on these Sylveon tins that look very nice condition-wise. Uh, always good to see. You definitely appreciate that. All right, now we're getting into our packs from this tin. I'll go ahead and slide these out of here and see what we got. It should be the same sets. We have a Brilliant Stars, Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies, and Chilling Rain. Uh, is it worth noting these two are upside down? I don't know. They're also a little funky looking, I think, from the way they're packaged in here, but again, that could be nothing. I did notice one of the reviews said that the packs felt a little bit airy, which I have noticed in some other uh, sets in the past. Uh, that does happen every now and then. They get a little too much air in these packs for whatever reason. Um, this one, I would say, looks a little bit kind of odd all around. There's this little line here. Don't know if that is anything. Uh, the pack at the top is also a little bit, I don't know, it almost feels like too much up here. I don't really know how to describe that. Um, hmm. Interesting. Okay, uh, we'll get into this one first. I'll slide these two in the back. Let's chop this open and see what we got. This one does feel a little more airy, like I said. Um, the, the plastic is a little bit different as far as the ceiling goes as it was in those other few Brilliant Stars packs I opened. Um, it opened just fine, I'd say, how I would expect it to. So that's you know worth noting. Um, and then let's see our code card. We do have a black code, which means this should be a hit. Um, and there is the code on the end for you guys back home. All right, so there should be something good in here. That means a hollow or better. Let's see if that is the case. Flip it around. Here we go. We have a Metal Energy, Executor, Friends in Galar, Weavile, Golet, Cast Form, Chimchar, Baltoy, Axew, Gabite, that's an uncommon reverse hollow. And on the end, this should be a hit. We have a Bibarel hollow rare. All right, so we're definitely starting off on the right track here. We're one for one with the hit to you know, code card ratio. Um, that pack, again, it, it did seem a little weird, um, but you know, sometimes these things happen in the factory. You know, there's so many packs, so many ways that these things can go a little bit wrong. Um, I just opened up a Lost Origin booster box recently, and there was a pack that had quite a bit of like additional pack hanging off of it. Um, and obviously that was sealed product. That was all good. That was legit as can be. Um, so again, you never know. Sometimes these things do just happen. It's not really a huge deal. Um, We'll go ahead now and take a look at this Evolving Skies pack. This one kind of caught my eye from the jump because it is a little, you know, awkward looking. Um, but, you know, the ceiling seems fine. This does seem a teeny bit longer on top in this one spot. Um, but, uh, you know, again, you can find a consistency in these packs if you inspect everything, regardless of where it comes from. So um, this could be nothing. We'll go ahead now and check out what's inside and see if this is worth being concerned about or if this is just the way it was packed in there. There is our code card on the end. Oops, and I didn't see, yeah, that's a white code card. So this should be a hit. Fire energy on the front. Golduck, Herdier, Single Strike Scroll of the Fang Dragon, Nicket, Bergmite, Pikachu, Flabebe, Swablu. Our reverse is a Crystal Cave. That's an uncommon reverse hollow. And on the end, this should be a hit, and it is. Okay, we have a Golurk V. That is a full art hit. Great pull. All right, so both Evolving Skies packs in these two tins have delivered uh, pretty great full art hits. Um, again, not the huge cards in the set, but nonetheless, they're still great pulls. Again, if you're resealing product, you're probably gonna take all the good stuff out no matter what it is. Um, so I have to say, so far, this one's looking pretty good too. 
even with these awkward looking packs. Um, but let's keep this going and see if this Chilling Rain pack is the same. This one also feels very airy. Um, again, if that's even worth noting. Um, the ceiling does pull away a little bit different than the other Chilling Rain pack, but you know, we might be getting a little too deep into this and, and overanalyzing, but um, we'll see. You know, we want to be sure, we want to be thorough about this. Um, Amazon, I will say, does have a pretty great return policy. Um, so if you do feel you got tampered packs, um, you can go ahead and return those. I think you will get a full refund, which is nice to know. There's the code. This is supposed to be a no hit pack. We have the all green code card. Um, yeah, but Amazon's return policy is pretty solid. I did read some reviews of people um, on Twitter and the website saying that they bought these tins and they thought they were resealed. Uh, they were able to return them and get a full refund. So no big deal there. Um, I would just make sure you're getting them from Amazon directly and not a third party through Amazon. Um, when I purchased these, they were direct through Amazon and not a third party. So that could also be a reason why these aren't looking resealed so far. Um, but again, we'll keep on going and see what we got. Here's our Weedle. This is a reverse uh, common card. And on the end, we have a Scolipede non-hollow rare, as we should. Down to our final two packs now. And again, I have to say this is looking pretty solid, pretty good. Um, we have some great hits here, by the way. Um, I know we're looking to see if this is resealed or not, but we've actually pulled some nice stuff out of these packs so far. So I am really impressed. I'm glad I kind of went out on a limb and bought these just, you know, to see. I know it was a little bit risky, but um, hey, you know, it's worth a shot. This one, again, this has some plastic pulling away. Again, that might be something that might be not, um, you know, hard to say. Sometimes these things happen anyway. We'll cut this one open and see if we can get something out of this Fusion Strike pack. Opens up pretty easily. Code card on the end. This is a white card, which means we should have no hit. This white border here on these TCG Live ones. And then throwing the code card at you. There it is. Little cat hair on there, apologies. Flip it around one, two, three, four to the front. Again, there should not be a hit at the end of this pack. We shall see. Metal Energy, Skaters Park, Chromomatic. Squad Loon, I think it's the same, same uh, order there again. Snom, Impidimp, Qfant, Sandshrew, Mudkip. Uh, our reverse is a Primeape, that's an uncommon reverse hollow. And on the end, we have a Luxray, non-hollow rare. Going back to the one I was saying earlier, uh, I believe it's a little bit more risky if you're buying product from third-party sellers on Amazon versus Amazon directly, um, at least as far as the return policy goes, I would say that's the case. Um, I don't know how well they verify kind of what is being sold to those third parties. Uh, I would say generally, you know, if you can avoid it, unless it's like an unbeatable price, I would say probably don't buy, uh, you know, potentially resealed products or even brand new products from Amazon. Um, this one is looking a little bit strange for what it's worth, but again, given the pattern we have so far here, I would say it's probably just a factory error. We'll persist here and see what we got. Um, but yeah, generally I would say, you know, probably avoid Amazon if you can. If not, if you feel the risk is worth it, you know, go for it. But, um, you know, personally, I purchase almost all of my Pokemon products from non-Amazon websites. Um, here is our code card on the end for our final pack of the day. This is a white code card, which means there should be no hit in this pack. I will say too, uh, sometimes they get those wrong, the code cards. Um, I have seen packs before where I'll get like an all green card, for example, and I still pull, you know, something out of that final slot, I'll pull, you know, an EX or a GX or um, whatever it was at the time. Uh, and I do think that they did start doing the green code card, white code card situation uh, with the sun and moon packs. So, you know, EX packs, you know, don't rely on those. Uh, our rare, by the way, is a inflatable non hollow, which is what we expected. So, uh, in total, we went 10 for 10 on these packs with what they should have been and what we got. So, I would say these are looking pretty good. So, I would say, at least in my experience, these products do seem to be legit. Uh, nothing about what I opened up today makes me think these could be resealed, uh, given the fact that the code cards lined up. Um, you know, there was some weird 
packaging stuff going on with the carts and the uh, packs themselves. But again, that can happen. It's not always a telltale sign that you for sure got a resealed pack or you for sure didn't. Uh, it kind of just depends. Um, we also pulled some great cards out of these packs as well. And I have to think that if you're resealing product, you're probably not leaving anything you know worthwhile behind. You're sticking in whatever cards you have kind of lying around in those rare spots. Um, definitely not leaving behind you know full art ultra rare cards. It's not anything that I would think a resealer would do. If you do plan on buying this product yourself, I would say to you know maybe be a little bit cautious when you do so. Um, I wouldn't have my hopes up that you're going to get something that's 100% perfect and you know not resealed, not tampered with. Um, just because there is you know, a pretty sheer amount of reviews that say they didn't receive you know what they were expecting. Um, I say my case here is that I definitely did get a legit product that was you know untampered with, um, but that may not be the case for you. So uh, maybe just go into it thinking you know that you're probably not going to get what you're paying for. Um, but if you do, it's a win. It's a nice surprise. Uh, and if you don't, maybe find something else to do with it. I don't really know. In any case, thank you once again for tuning in. If you want to see more of my content, you can go ahead and click subscribe below and do hit that notification bell icon as well to get notifications when I post. I do post on a pretty regular schedule, but there will be some surprise drops in there that you don't want to miss. Uh, so do make sure you have the notifications turned on as well. That'll do it for today's opening. So as always, I'll see you on the next one.